Good morning, everybody. So, um, I decided to make this video after I made my video yesterday and I had a few questions from people. Um, so I decided to make a to be essential, um, before surgery, after surgery, and you know, things that you should have in the house, um, for an everyday, um, pretty much basis, you know. Um, and that's pretty much where we're gonna go from here. Um, so this is what this video is going to be about now the disclaimer is that um everybody is different okay so everybody's going to need different supplies everybody's going to need maybe less or more or the things that i like you may not like so this is just um like what i feel helped me um so that's why i want to show you guys what helped me and hopefully it can help you okay so before surgery um, a lot of people who need a J-tube, uh, um, often get the appointment or they speak to the doctor or they feel they need a J-tube because they're not eating or any type of feeding tube, um, because they're not eating, they're not drinking, you know, they're not getting their nutrients. Okay. So first thing you want to do is if you're thinking of need that you need a, a, a feeding tube or that your doctor is requesting one, make sure that you write down every single question that you may have um because what you don't want to do is walk into surgery with anxiety and feel like your questions were not answered so you want to write down every question that you may have about the surgery about the recovery um complications because they do not tell you complications um they did not tell me complications they didn't even show me how to use my tube they pretty much was like this is what the, the, the nurses would come in and they would do their thing and not even explain. Nobody came to explain to me. So I had to learn how to work my tube myself. So, um, so that's the first and major important thing. And also do your research. If you know people who have a feeding tube or you um, try to request a group. You know, enter a group that has um, feeding tubes or a feeding tube group um, where you can ask questions. Um, a lot of people will answer. And that's another way of getting your, um, you know, questions answered. Um, I found that very helpful um, when I was doing my research for my J-tube. Um, you know, so that's pretty much it. Research, ask questions, um, get information, and um, make sure that, you have no doubt in your mind that this is something you absolutely want to do because it's not easy living with a, J a feeding tube. It's really not. It's um, It takes work. And it to me, when I have to pack my stuff to get ready to go out, I feel like I have a child. Um, and that's pretty much what it's like. And the child is my feeding tube because I have to take care of it. I have to make sure it's clean. I have to make sure I put the feedings in it. Um, so it's just like a baby. Okay. Um, that so that's before surgery after surgery um, you're gonna need a lot of rest um, I was on bed rest a month after my surgery because I had some complications um, you may be different you may be able to walk around you may not feel anything um, but the first especially couple days in the hospital if they keep you a couple days after surgery you want to be rested and at ease um, bring a book um, I brought my crochet stuff, so I was crocheting, bring a laptop, whatever helps you relax because the more stress you put on your body as you're healing, the harder it is to heal, okay, because your body will feel that stress. So you want to be as relaxed as you can get, you know, so books, crocheting, um, you know, anything like that. Um, you know, you want to have, okay? Um, you also want to make sure that you ask a lot of questions. Um, possible complications. Um, essentials that you may need. Um, when you should call your doctor. You should always have that ready. Um, because you don't want to call the doctor for every little thing. You want to make sure that, you know... Um, now, if it's something you don't understand, then, of course, call the doctor. But if it's something that would, could have been explained to you while you were in the hospital, then, you know, you should ask a lot of questions. You know, um, do it that way. Um, make sure that you are, you know, um, going to have some help when you get home. 
um, usually some hospitals, like my hospital, it has like a home um, health care um, program. And they every surgery, regardless of whether it's J-tube or not, they send a nurse to my home for a couple of weeks. And they also send a home attendant to help me uh, for the first couple of weeks um, to get my house clean, to get dressed, to whatever I need them to do. So that's definitely something that you guys want to look into. Okay, so now that we've covered that, and I'm sorry if that went quickly, um, but my brain is kind of working a lot. It's working very fast right now. Um, I'm going to give you the essentials that you need at home, okay? Um, like I said before, everyone is different. You may need less things or more things depending on your situation, and you always want to talk to your doctor about the things that you're going to need, okay? Um, so now, the supply company... Um, should call you while you're in the hospital and then after you get out of the hospital they'll probably call you again to let you know they're going to deliver your supplies um, now with the supplies comes um, depending on the insurance again mine came with a 30 day supply of feeding bags only one feeding you know like one type of feeding bag um, depending on your machine your pump it's either a dual machine or a single machine like a single bag machine I got the single bag machine okay if it's a dual machine you'll probably get double the bags because of course you're going to be using two bags a day um of course my feed they send me about six boxes of my feed um they send me about 20 gauzes which i'm going to show you the size they sent me um they send me about 10 to 15 syringes which i'll show you those also um and that was pretty much it and my pump oh and they send you an iv pole okay for your home um that was pretty much all they sent me um i definitely needed more supplies um than that so i um my husband ended up going on amazon and ordering me the stuff that i'm going to show you now try to me eat this out okay so first and foremost it are the small little gauzes they're two by two um but these are special because they have a cut in them so you would put them like this up and pretty much cover your tube and it'll, you know, hold the discharge or blood or whatever it is that's leaking out of your tube because you will, okay, let me make this clear, you will have stuff coming out of your tube, okay, whether it's bile, whether it's pus, whether it's blood, whether it's water, um, there are times where I flush and it comes out of my tube. That is normal. What is not normal is when you get smelly discharge, really red, bright red discharge. Um, it itches really bad or it's starting to burn your skin. You definitely want to contact your doctor. Okay. The second thing that your second type of gauze you're going to need is a four by four, which I'll show you is this size right here. Okay, it's the size that I have right now on my tube. Um, you can either cut it yourself and make a circle and try to make it like the other one. Or you can just do what I do. I fold it, put it right under, and just let it drain out, which is kind of gross. So, um, you know, that's pretty much that. Um, the next essential thing that I have that I use every day that you will probably use every day are these. These are the syringes that come with your feedings but my husband also ordered me 25 extra um because i do flush um on top of you know my feeds i have to make sure my tube doesn't clog and then when you wash this a lot the numbers on the side start disappearing so then you don't really know how much the mls are um so it's really good to have an extra supply in the house um if you can't order them on amazon make sure to speak to your doctors they may be able to get you a supply of these okay so there's 60 um 60 ml uh syringes look you know um but they're really essential um to help your tube get unclogged or stay unclogged never clogged um i thank god i have not had a problem i think it clogged the first time when i came home i was freaked out afterwards it did not Okay, the second essential thing is, especially if you have a lot of pills that you take, a lot of pills that you need to crush, okay? This is, and I spoke a little bit about this yesterday, this is a pill crusher syringe, okay? So, this is the way it works. You remove the top, you remove it from here, 
it has these special little ridges all around and there's ridges inside also um, sorry that it's wet but my husband cleans it um, you know so there's ridges on the inside you would insert the pill right here you would then push it up hold it up straight push the pill all the way till it gets to the top and then just twist very easy on the hands let me tell you I suffer from arthritis and it's very easy on the hands um, and then that's it um, now it will not come out because of this little plastic right here um, so it's wonderful I just crush my pills I put in the syringe and I put it in my bag and I leave if I need my pill my pain medication or any medication while I'm out this is what I use um, because all you do once you crush it and you're ready to use you suck up water um, it has the ML numbers right here hold on let me see if I can uh, very light but as you can tell they're right there um, and that's it um, that's how you use these um, another thing that's really essential to anybody tape okay now they give you tape in the hospital and depending on your skin you either will get irritated or you won't mine actually got raw um, and bled a lot because they kept pulling the tape off putting it on putting it on so a friend of mine from the community from the GP community um, you know helped me and she said Medipour this is amazing tape um, pretty much it's really strong very porous you can tell it has like little holes in it well you really can't tell but there you go um, it's also pre-cut so no really no work um, and it also does not irritate your skin at all um, like I said every person is different though so please um, don't hold me to that I am having a great time with the tape because it doesn't break my skin. It doesn't do any of that. Um, the only thing that I have a problem with is that it's very sticky. So there's like a lot of glue residue on my tube. And I'm finding a very hard time um, finding where to get it off, you know. So if you guys have any suggestions on what I can use to remove the glue from my tube from the tape, let me know in the comments below. Okay, now. Uh, this is not an essential. You don't really need this. I went out and got some because I really hate looking at the gauze like underneath my tube. So I went and got me these. Okay, these are tube covers. Um, the person I bought them from, um, it has an Etsy store called Lens Creations. I'll put it in the link below. And, um, you know, um, pretty much they're like this. They have a button. They're actually pretty, they're really good size. Um, I ordered some previously and they were a little smaller. Um, and they didn't really fit right. But these are really, really good. Um, cloth material really sucks up really well the, the, the stuff that's coming out of the tube. And it makes your tube look pretty. So, that's not an essential. But it's something that you guys should definitely look into if you don't like to look. Um, I got some Valentine's ones. She has like different designs on her on her Etsy shop um, and very good customer service if you have any questions um, she custom orders um, you just have to ask um, now another essential thing in my life I still get dehydrated um, my, I'm on feeds 24 7 but I still get dehydrated um, so my husband came up with a really like good idea which I passed by my doctor first um, and the dietitian at the hospital and they both approved so if this is something that you're gonna want to do please ask them first um, okay so my pump is the infinity and Terralite um, and that one only allows one bag at a time one feeding bag at a time now you guys may be asking why does she have two okay so what my husband did was he took one of my bags um, we change it out about once a week you could change it out earlier doctor told me once a week um, and this has water and Pedialyte mixed into it okay um, and what I do is um, like for two or three days feeling um, depends on how dehydrated I feel I put um, in the bag to be set for the day I put in about 120 ml of water and I'm sorry, 180 ml of water and um, 90 of Pedialyte and then mix it up. And then every, uh, after four hours of formula, um, I end up doing an hour of Pedialyte. 
water mixture. Um, I set it at 60 ml an hour um, because my feed ml is only 45 ml an hour. I'm not, it's not really going that fast. It hurts too much. Um, so the 60 ml, because it's um, the water is thinner, um, it actually goes pretty well. Um, so I run that for about an hour and then I do my feeds for an hour and then water for an hour and that's how I rotate it for like two or three days But of course you have to ask your doctor because what happens is um, They have you on the feeds for caloric intake, you know, so if you're not Getting that intake You know, they're gonna question why and you always want to make sure that you pass it with them first um, you know doctors are uh, you know they want to make sure you're getting everything in and you got to make sure that you talk to them about whatever it is that you're feeling now um, you know let me see what else I'm hoping I'm not forgetting anything um, okay so this is the Pedialyte I get it's unflavored Pedialyte um, again, talk to your doctors and they can also tell you the um, servings you need. Uh, serving size would be 8 ounces, but you're drinking it. Remember, it's going through your tube. Um, so you would need less of it. It absorbs also quicker. So these are things that you want to talk to your doctor about. Um, I'm not sure of the science of it, but this is what I was approved for and this is what I'm doing. Um, also, you want to make sure you have alcohol swabs or alcohol pads. Um, you want to make sure you have hand sanitizer for anybody that's going to come around you or if you have like a nurse. Nurses usually wear gloves, but sometimes they, you know, you still want them to make sure everything's clean um, or for yourself. Definitely for yourself. I, I definitely clean my hands um, before I touch the tube, whenever I'm going to change anything, um, any of that. Okay, so that's like really essential for that too. I'm really hoping I'm not missing anything. Um, if you guys have any questions, please don't be afraid to comment. Um, also, what I use, I'm a diabetic. It's supposed to be sugar-free, but I don't buy them sugar-free. Sugar-free tastes nasty. Um, I have these um, hard candies. They could be Werther's. They could be any one of them. They could be sugar-free if you like sugar-free. That helps my mouth stay moist because I'm not intaking any liquid. My mouth is always dry. And it really, 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 really sucks. I'm sorry, baby. It really, really, really sucks. Um, and you don't want that. So that's how I keep my, you know, fluid intake in. Um, also, another essential, not essential, but it's an item you want to have if you have the type of tube that I have. So I'm going to show you guys the tube right now for those who didn't get to see it yesterday. Um, okay, so my tube is a Red Robinson, um, Foley catheter tube, okay? So, um, it has no clamp or anything at the end. It's pretty much just an open nozzle. Um, usually hospitals will give it to you. My hospital did not. So, I ended up making, sorry, I can't really move, these out of my feeding bags once I was done with my feeding bags my husband would rip these off boil them to sanitize them make sure that they were like sanitized and then glue the hole so that I can use it as a stopper to stop the fluids from coming out but because of my tube if I don't do that everything's just gonna flow out and I had an accident where all the bile and feed was on my clothes bad uh, stinks really bad too so um, I asked in the group a young lady a wonderful little young lady um that always helps me she actually told me about these these are called the lopez valve it's called the lopez valve you can get it from amazon um and it pretty much has an off button you know and these are on so you could turn it whenever you got to close it whenever you need to feed when you don't need to feed um this is my medicine port right here so medicine and flushes go through here and formula is always here okay um Again, you see the tape. I use a lot of it because I need to make sure my tube stays. Um, um, and I also put like a little piece of tape underneath because of the not piece in the back. It always sticks, you know, to my stomach. Um, so this is good. Like I said, hospitals usually give it to you. Um, oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hospitals usually give it to you, but my hospital did not. Um, so... I ended up buying them and they actually are amazing and perfect and I love them 
um, it helps me it helps me drain it helps me um, you know flush usually I have to usually I forget that I leave it on and it ends up spilling um, but it's really really good just make sure you don't lose the tops that cover the holes because then there's no suction there um, what else oh yeah I, I know you guys probably saw this but um that's the big gauze and I put it like this you can put it any way you feel like it and it's just to drain out what's coming out because there's a lot of you know some discharge that comes out I know it's gross and I'm so sorry um but I'm hoping that I'm not missing anything I will try my best to put um everybody's link in you know um not for the stuff, but, you know, I'll try my best to name everything um, in the description box below. And, you know, I'm hoping that I can get it all out. Um, but if you guys have any questions, please feel free to hit me up, comment um, below. Um, if I forgot anything, please comment below. Um, something that may be essential to me that I may not have gotten. Um, I'm very open to suggestions. So, um that's pretty much about it. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. I'm going to be spending my day in bed. I am in a lot of pain. Um, what you guys cannot see from where I'm sitting is that I have about four to five pillows on my back. Um, because I don't like to... I, I have to stay like at a slant. Um, but then when I sit up, I have a lot of air. So... That's just my situation. I'm sorry I rambled. Um, so like I said, I hope everybody has a, a, a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Um, I'm an open book. You can ask me anything about my illness, about my tube, and I will help you as best as I can. If you like my videos and are not sus subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I update frequently, so lately I've been doing it more frequently, um, depending on how sick I feel. Okay, so I hope everybody has an amazing weekend and wonderful day and try to stay as positive as you can with the situation that you're in. I know it's hard, I know it's rough, but looking for the light at the end of the tunnel actually makes this so much easier. Um, so have a good one. Bye.